All right, here we go. How to make a big room house song. You guys have been begging me to get this video done. So I saw all the passion and the begging. So I guess here it is. And I, yeah, I've been procrastinating, but that's what college kids do. So, um, yeah. Uh, first thing I'm going to go over is I'm going to give you everything in this folder right here. You need to download all these. It's a... Uh, Oh yeah, and I'm using Silent 1 and Nexus 2, uh, so just know that. But for Silent 1, I'm going to try to use as much Silent 1 as I can. Uh, these two things here are two leads you can download that I'm probably going to use. And this is a sample pack with kicks, uh, snares, loops that I am going to be using. So go ahead and download all those. And come back to this video so first things first uh, that I'd like to say is when I start a new song I have a uh, inspiration in mind um, a song that I wanna I wanna imitate or so, not really imitate but a song I wanna be inspired by so uh, the song I have in mind is Encore by Mac J I absolutely love that song. I want to imitate the drop, or just have a similar drop to it. Um, as for the breaks, I want to have more of a melodic break. Something like um, the Danic Dear Life break. So I'm probably going to do a little something like that. Um, and so that's... When you're making this stuff, you can just what what I do is I usually uh, have those songs just so I can compare my song to them. So go ahead and make yourself a couple layers that so that you're ready to go, and pull your volumes about halfway down just to give yourself room. And this is very important. Do not have all your sounds being as loud as you can make them because that'll give you issues while you're mixing. So. Go up and open up uh, Silent One. I opened that on my lead layer, but I think I'm changing that already because it's my intro I'm going to do. Um, yeah, okay. So first things first, let's go into that, um, that sample pack I told you to download. the hyper bits sample pack and we're gonna pick our kick um... clubby kicks are my favorite out of these this sample pack I like this one oh yeah don't forget uh... turn your bpm's up to 128 I forgot to got to do that. Um, line this kick up. What I'm doing is I'm selecting this, holding the command key and pressing R. It's a repeat. It's how you repeat. Uh, or it's, in other words, you, how you copy and paste it basically, or duplicate it. There we go. We got four bars of kicks. So let's turn the volume down. Give ourselves room to mix in. And in my intros, I love having chords. Chords. So let's open up Silent One. Okay, do initialize preset. Now it's a basic preset. Turn off re trigger. And we're going to push these voices up to four. Um, Turn the detune up to about 11 o'clock. Um, uh, what that does is it basically detunes your layers of sound waves. So that's without the detune. That's with the detune, even though that's a different key. Yeah, so you see it makes it a little different sounding. 
my volume is a little low, so I'm going to turn it up a little bit for you guys if you didn't already turn your own volume up. Um, Alright, compress, we'll do reverb in a second, and now you're going to add a low pass filter, you're going to bring this all the way down, it's the cutoff knob because we're going to come down here, load cutoff A, which is this guy, turn this to about 3 o'clock, pull the decay, we do have ourselves a little pluck. Um, my volume is still a little quiet, so I'm gonna turn my volume up for you guys again. I hate this screen recording shit. It's so hard to get my volumes right, and then you guys all complain about the volume being too uh, quiet. Um, let's go back here. Just bear with me. Tur turn up your volume if it's too low. I'm sorry. Um, okay. I'm going to see what this, how this sounds. Now in these, in these intro, in the intros, now let's make it an A. The key of our song is in A. Uh, if you're wondering how I'm duplicating, again, um, Command R. And just so you know, this is all improvisation. I didn't plan anything I'm going to do. So I'm hoping it turns out great. If not great, it'll be, it'll be good. Don't worry. I hope it turns out good. <laughs> um... You know what? This volume thing is pissing me off so much. It's, it's still too quiet. Um, yeah. All right. Now you add, add another track because now we have to make our side train. Um, our side chain layer and get something really small like get a really small either snare or really small kick I'm using an 808 kick it's a tiny kick but basically it's an invisible kick you can't hear it because um, we're going to use this for side chaining too And this is very important. You can't can't skip this layer because this layer is gonna make your song uh, dynamic to the kick. Um, you can leave the volume up because we can't again we can't hear it. And we're gonna add this to bus three. Turn the volume of this bus all the way up, but we're gonna turn the output off so now you can't hear it. So you can't hear this kick, but it's actually going to end up doing a lot. So let's go up to these chords. Um, now I'm not going to use that reverb. Um, um, back to this layer of the chords, add a compressor. 
Now we're going to press it to plus three. So basically what I did there to make it bounce like that, so all I really did was turn the ratio up. And um, for now, I'm going to leave the release how it is. Uh, if I have an issue with it later, I'll change it. But uh, yeah, don't touch the threshold. Um, don't really have to. Right at the. Alright, stop being a bitch, Alex Ryan. Um. If you're adding that fourth layer of uh, chords, be sure to put your polyphony up to four so you can have four notes playing at once. Um, you know what? Fuck it. Turn it. And one last thing before I move on. Okay. Now let's take this all and duplicate it. Um, for these, I'm going to change it up probably. Room house songs it does not get they do they do not get melodic in the intros so uh, you kind of want to refrain from going too crazy on a nice melody in the in intro of the song uh, because what they do is they break so at this point is where you're gonna start like making a nice sounding melody so now we basically just gotta make make this um, make this very loud and poppy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add we're gonna add some cl uh, uh, some cl add a new audio track um, and this clap over every. Um, Cut off that uh, tag. Um. All right, so we're gonna add it to bus two. Bus two comes pre-set with reverb. So if you want to add your own specialized reverb sound, just add a bus two to the uh, layer and turn the volume up. That's uh, pretty much adds a lot of volume and pop to sound to your intro. So now um, we're going to add a symbol. Like a, I'm going to put ride six right on top of every kick. The length, why I made it this long, the intro. Is because generally intros are 16 bars. Uh, I've heard some go to 32 in big room house songs, uh, and some even are as small as 8, but generally there's 16 bars in length intros. Sections of big room house songs are generally 16 bars each. Um, besides, you know, the main drops is when they extend it, they actually double the size to 32 bars. But for this intro, we're going to keep it at 16, and yeah. So again, let's add it to uh, bus 2, and turn up our verb. Mm -hmm. 